So does that deferring and delaying and, and awkwardness show the mark of a professional? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Nice. Absolutely. When does a writer you know? You show me a, 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 a writer who says she's satisfied with what she did, that it went well, I'll show you an amateur. So in the beginning, it's, a, it's like a dating. It's a honeymoon phase. Everybody looks perfect. Well, it, 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 dating is better. Uh, I mean, if dating works out, you eventually you get on well with, with that person. Uh, but you never get on well with writing. Hmm. Um, that never changes. Again, maybe God willing, you are able to make money at it and actually support yourself at it. But it's always, always painful, always a struggle. And again, it's about feeling. That's what it's about. So it sort of makes sense that it, that it should uh, be feelingful. <laughs> when does a writer know it's time to abandon a character? N n you never really know. And I'm asked that all the time about, I'm asked two kinds of questions like that. What I call the macro version and the micro version. The micro version is should I, you've read this script, you've read several versions of it. Uh, am I beating a dead horse here? Should I just move on? Um, I sure don't know. I've seen people re rewrite scripts into oblivion where they, they should have gotten rid of, in my view. Uh, and I've also seen, conversely, um, scripts that looked pretty hopeless that suddenly broke through. Who am I to say? I can't tell you that. It's uh, easy for me to say, but you've got to you've got to do all the work on that. That's the micro version. Should I stick with this script or should I give it up? I'll also say, what is very useful is is to put a script aside and write something else, and then come back to it, um, and and you'll have a new perspective on it. The macro version of that is, and I get this all the time, should I, uh, do I have what it takes to be a writer? Am I good enough at this? And my answer is, I don't know. Uh, that's, not for, <laughs> that's not for me to say. That's for, for uh, you know, should I continue to do this? Actually, I, my answer to that usually is no. Uh, don't continue to do this. Why not? Because you had to ask me whether or not you should do it. Uh, if you need to ask somebody about whether or not you should be a writer, then you should not be a writer. You should be a writer because you can't help yourself. There's nothing else you can do. You just can't stop yourself. You gotta. You, you have to write. Not because it's fun, but be, because you have to do it. Just like you have to breathe. You know. Um, the uh, we're as I said, we're in the midst of our admissions process here at UCLA. Uh, the take rate. Uh, that is to say, the number of people who are admitted to our program who actually enter the program is very high. I know it's almost 90 percent, uh, uh, almost 100 percent. It's over 90 percent. Um, that is to say, anybody who gets admitted to the program comes into the program for the most part. It's extremely unusual that somebody's admitted to the program and then uh, has doubts about whether or not they want to enter the program. And yet I met with somebody the other day uh, who had been admitted to the program and now told me that uh, he was wondering whether or not he really ought to enter the program. And he wanted to ask me some question about that. Uh, you know, uh, and I said to him, uh, look, you're asking me, should you enter this program? Oh, he was, the way he put it was, is this like a reasonable, intelligent thing to do? And I told him, no, um, no. <laughs> is it reasonable and intelligent to think that you can create characters and stories and make up dialogue that they speak? And that people will uh, line up in bad weather to uh, um, pay over fourteen or sixteen dollars, you know, for a ticket, whatever it costs to go to the movies these days, um, to sit in a movie theater and and uh, you know watch this this thing that you you created. I mean, imagine a um, uh, uh, somebody stops you in the street and says, "I, I got to tell you about this dream that I had." I had this dream, I had this dream, I gotta tell you about it. So let's say you're a generous and a humane person, you say, well, okay, let's hear it. And imagine that the person, I mean, you've had the experience where you've wanted to tell a dream that you had to somebody, and Absolutely. there are people who surely said to you, oh, I had the crazy, you gotta tell you about this dream I had. <laughs> what about just before they tell you the dream, they say, oh, before I do this, I, you have to meet two conditions. One is, uh, you got to be ready to sit there for two hours. It's going to take me two hours to tell you this dream. 
And the other thing is, I mean, that's a, that would stop me right there. Uh, but that's not the end of it. It's just the beginning of it. The end of it is I also want $15 or whatever a ticket costs. I mean, it's crazy. And I said to this person, no, don't do it. Um, if you are wondering about it, if you have to ask about it, then you shouldn't, you shouldn't do it. I'm not about to say to somebody, oh, give us a chance, please, you know, please be a writer. I mean, what <laughs> there's nothing in it for, for the writer for me to tell her that. Um, yeah, and the, the same thing with, as I say, on a, on a uh, narrower basis on whether or not they're going to uh, write a story, you know, whether or not this is something they sh somebody should really write about. I was at a... Um, I go to a lot of writers' conferences. I am an academic, but I don't go to too many scholarly conferences. Uh, but I do go to bunches of writers' conferences. And uh, I was at one recently in Northern California. And um, there were a lot of agents there on panels and so on. And I was chatting with them. I was a presenter, as they were. And um, I remember them complaining to me, the agents, that writers are coming up to them at the conference and saying, what should I write about? What's hot now? What are you looking for? Imagine asking somebody else what to write about. I mean, if you don't have, uh, if the writer doesn't care about what she's writing about, why would the agent care? Why would the producer care? Why would audiences care? Um, so again, you have to, uh, you really, really uh, can't look to anybody else other than, you, other than yourself in this enterprise.